So, g'day comrades subscribers. Um, this arrives from Ukraine, Ukraine today, despite Putin's best efforts, well, I don't know how to call them best efforts, to um, accidentally target civilian infrastructure. Um, yep, so uh, this came from Roman. I bought a few things from Roman uh, in Dnipro. So, and he always sends some little bit extras. So I've got some more, I've got already got one of those, uh, those stamps there. Um, but some uh, quite nice Ukrainian stamps. I used to collect stamps, so I, uh, I doubly appreciate this. Uh, mini sheet, very nice mini sheet. Uh, and Ruski uh, Vonia. I'm not going to, yeah, but we, we all know what that's about. So, very cool. So, I appreciate that. I just hope he's, uh, I haven't spoken to him for a while on eBay. So, I'll let him know it's arrived safely. I hope he's okay, as well as can be. Um, but, um, yeah, I won't get into politics. It's not a political channel. Um, <clears throat> so this is an Electronica MS0511, like the one that I am trying to fix. <laughs> so this actually is, um, already you can see there's a difference in colour um, between the two. And actually this is also a 42 volt version. Noticed um, straight away also... There's a, this is the original one I had, and this is the one that just arrived. So, difference in the 42, well, it's the same plug, but it's just a different style, so. Yeah, so, this one, Roman assures me, was working when it left. Um, I'm just having a look. Okay, that's interesting. Let me have a take, let me just take the, the board out. So I did start, I have, um, I have been doing some minor things on my original one. Uh, this clip here was broken, so I have re-glued it, but I'm not going to risk it. But this is, so this is a uh, 91, and that's the serial number. 42 volts, 50 hertz, 0.75 amps, and this one... It has got a different, so this is 0391, and um, it's also 42 volts, but it's just um, a very different style. Let me, uh, let me get the camera, I don't want to break it, let me get the camera. Okay, so yeah, we've got that versus that. So, one can only assume that, actually, I think there were three models or something, wasn't it? So, that's Kavant. Is that Kavant? So, I think uh, different factory. Different different factory, different um, engineering concern, I guess. So, that's why we've got the different colours and the uh, different nameplate. Um, we've got the, this is the network card. Network interface with cable plugged in, but it's just a standard, standard sort of anyway. But yeah, so, oh, so my arm's a bit sore. You can see that this keyboard's got a bit of yellowing. I think my original keyboard is is looking better than this one, so there might be some swappy changey going on. Now we've got our two interface things there. Um, yep, yeah, and 42 volts. So let's pull this one apart so I can swap out the power supply and see if it works. All right, we've got the top off. So immediately you can see that there are some differences um, in the structure. Yep, so, I'm 
general layout seems to be okay you can see there are differences so for example you know we still have this capacitor there but there's an additional chip there um, and it looks like okay for example I think we must have the ROMs all here whereas on this one here we've got two of the ROMs there I think they were the ROMs I can't remember now um, yeah so interesting interesting slightly different layout and well <laughs> plus a few bodge wires by the looks of it um yeah the lot of stuff seems similar okay here we've got here we've got the three crystals all in the line whereas on this one here we've got a crystal here and then we've got the other two over here so interesting uh, power supply looks pretty much the same um, I've already started pulling mine apart but oops, sorry can't see that can you um, I would say power supply is the same design yeah from what I can see it's the same design yeah all right and um, yeah so it looks like Roman has already disconnected the plus and minus 12 volts um, so I'm gonna have to have a look no I don't really I think the 12 that's only really used for the communication or for the serial or something so whether or not I use it on the new one. All right. Um, so in that case, what I can do is I can disconnect this. Oh, interesting. There's only three connectors. There's only three connectors actually used. That is interesting. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's only actually three connectors used on the four connector. Yeah, there we go. Um, all right, so I'll need to dig down, dig out, dig out where my. Although I could probably just patch this one. No, no, I won't patch that one. I'll just leave that one. Um, yeah, well, let's see if it boots. All right, before. Uh, before I dig out what I need to dig out, uh, I'll drop it somewhere. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. That's what I need. All right, there's the power cable. All right. Um, so this is the original keyboard I had, and this is the new one that just arrived. Um, so the original one is genuinely, you know, both the same. Um, it is that color. There's no fading on it. Whereas this one definitely appears to be whiter and then there is fading. So, oh, sorry, my finger keeps going in. So yeah, you can definitely see there's fading. Or well, not fading, sorry. Um, yeah, some damage, I would say. Whereas this is the original one, and that is the colour. So I might swap and change, get the best best of both. If this one's working, of course I want to get the other. I want to get the original one working as well. Um, it's different, different layout, so it might not be so easy. But let's see. Okay, um, so this is the video cable I made up. Um, I believe so. It's only this one's only composite video, but I believe there is RGB out as well, so that can be put on later. 
and audio. I think only one of them, one of them really worked. Uh, which way did it plug in? Oh, that's right. We've got the little, little indentation. So that slots into there. Okay, so that's video taken care of. Plug into there. Now power. Man, so many. Minne set many. To where did it go? To where it did it go? Minne um, so many call. No, many call, no. I just had it. Ah, here it is. Okay. So here's my plus five, minus five volts. Should be the same. <laughs> As the original. Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I guess you could just, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I could just wait a second. What have I done? Oh, okay, no. <laughs> I need to resolder. My very dodgy quick soldering. So it's that one there. All right, back in a minute. Okay, it's right to go. I even. I've even put some insulation tape. <laughs> okay. Um, power on. Five volts. Two amps. Jesus Christ. Hey! Toy me! It works! Awesome. <laughs> all right. Okay, that's all. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye for now. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's uh, let's have a closer look. Okay, I've hooked up the original keyboard I had, which seems to be the nicer one. And I'll um, let's have, let's uh, have a look at the screen. Okay, power on. I don't know where they get this 0.75 amps from. This is drawing two am uh, two amps. Bloody hell. Um, so there we go. Um, okay, what do we got? We've got disc. Number one is disc, uh, number two is cassette, uh, number three is set, um, number four is, st uh, I don't know that one, something about S2, but serial. Uh, number five is magnetophone, so what's the difference between cassette, oh cassette I think is maybe the one of the expansion slots on top, perhaps. Magnetophone, so that'll be um, cassette. Ot, Otla, is that a, is that a, OT, is that an L, Ot, Latka, Ot, Latka, Ot, Latka, don't know. And then uh, Testi, Testi Rov, Rovanye, Testi Rovanye, oh, okay. I don't know. Sorry, my apologies if that was very hard on your on Slavic ears. Um, I'm just using cursor keys. I don't know what this does. So, yeah, so on my one, we definitely see a flashing cursor, but the rest of the screen is garbage. So that's why I've been trying to replace the, the RAM, the video RAM. But, yeah, this is basically... Yeah, anyway, so is this some sort of test routine maybe? Okay. Prohod. Prohod. I know from Kherson. Yeah, the X. Kherson. Kherson. Prohod. Oh, I'm not going to try and pronounce anymore. My apologies. Uh, I don't know what I do here. I'm pressing return. Stop. Okay, stop. Resets it. What the frig? That's pressing the Vivod button. All right, maybe I don't press the Vivod button. Stop. Spross. Pom. Ooh. <laughs> cool. 
Okay. Oh, that's help or something, wasn't it? What's oost? Okay. Oost was something to do with settings, wasn't it? Oh, okay. That's pressing ISP. ISP. Stop. AR2 tab. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay, cool. All right. Well, okay, let's press it. Well, I think this is, was this settings. I know, I know you guys are going to tell me. But I believe this was settings. That's, that's when I press, oh, let's press stop again. Stop, no. Help. That's POM. Okay, that was ISP, ISP. Okay, stop. So, oost. That's oost. Okay, as you can see here. Oostanovka. Oostanovka. Oh, I don't know the funny X. Okay. Oh, okay. So the, the, it is settings. Okay. So yeah, because I'm using uh, composite, I think that's why it's black and white. So what about if I change it to oh, 10 by 24? Inca. Okay, and then how do I go back? Oost, oh no, oost again. Okay, or isp. Oh, I'm at here. Oost. Oh, anyway, all right, <laughs> that's cool. I'm happy. Okay, so I guess the first thing I'll have to do tomorrow is swap out the power supply. Um, I've got my, my original one here. Like I was say, I'm not gonna abandon it. I wanna get it working. But swap out that power supply for a mean well. Um, and like I say, it's got the on off switch here. Oh, I, you don't know actually, because I haven't uploaded that video. Um, one thing I was thinking of, let, let, let me get the mean well. Okay, so that's the original 42 volt. This is the replacement mean well. Now, you know, I can drill holes and shit like that, but um, actually I don't need that either, do I? The main thing is the this is the on-off switch. There. So it would be good to reuse that. Um... And it's attached to this circuit board here. So actually one thing I might do is just maybe get some Vero board. Maybe get if I get a Vero board that size, I can stick that on top and put that in there. I might do that tomorrow. So and I've got I've got the plugs so that I can plug in plug in 240 volts in there. And then I can make, I can also then connect the other side up with this and plug it into there. So they'll go in there like that. And then the second job, I guess, well, I think first of all, I'll need to update, upgrade the video cable so it outputs RGB. And I would maybe try loading something via cassette. Otherwise, I've got, I've got these um, um, SD interface board I can make up for the machine. So I'm really, I'm really happy. Um, I hope Roman's okay in, in Ukraine. Um, yeah, they gave me a good price on this. And um, yeah, it's working exactly like you said it would be. So... There we go. Maybe some progress. Um, bye for now.